Hi fam, welcome back to our channel, Design on a Dollar. I am your host Ida, and today we're going to do a Pier 1 Imports dupe. Okay, so you remember in my Shop With Me video, there were some little things that like this. Um, they were salt and pepper shakers, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta make these. So, I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up a pack of the um, salt and pepper shakers, the plastic ones. And so for this DIY, you're going to need that. You're going to need your E6000 or some other type of um, adhesive. And I'm using E6000 because I trust that it won't come off for, you know, a long time. You're going to need some scissors. And you're going to need some of these AB um single strand of bling um, I ordered this from I ordered a long time ago and I think I ordered it from Etsy I'm, I'm almost sure it was Etsy or AliExpress because I was a um, AliExpress girl at one point so it either came from AliExpress or Etsy it Etsy and it is called it's 10 yards of crystal ab rhinestone sewing so sewing craft and two millimeters so that's what it says it's 10 yards of crystal ab rhinestone so the Ooh, I'm sorry about that noise, guys. So we're going to open up our salt and pepper shakers. And I'm only going to do one with you guys. I'm going to do the other one off camera. And so we're going to find the back. And we want the back to be right here where this um, line is right here. So to get started, I am going to lay some E6000 down. Let me see if I can get y'all up a little higher. Hold on, guys. Okay. So I got you guys up higher. So I'm going to take that E6000. I'm going to lay this off on the side. And I'm going to take my E6000. And I'm going to put a thin layer right about here just to get it started. And it's probably going to be kind of hard to work with, guys, because it is a single strand. But I'm thinking once you get it laid down, it should be okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bead of glue, like, all the way around and then up a little bit. Now, some people may want to cut each strand off, but me, I'm going to see what it looks like just with one continuous strand because that's, that's quicker and simpler to do. So, I'm um, going to see. And we're just going to line it up and wrap it. Line it up and wrap it. And then when you get right here to where the other one is, you just go right beside it, just like that. And I'm going to do another layer with you guys. And then that's it. That's all you do, guys. And I'm going to try to do...
when you get towards the top guys you want to take your lid off so you won't um, seal it in there and I was gonna go back and do the top but as you can see I'm almost um, this was a complete 10 row and this is the second one that I'm doing so I won't have enough to I might have enough to go do one strand around the top on each one but I know I won't have a, enough to fill it all the way up to the top and I really don't want to do mine all the way up to the top anyway because I don't want to um, get it all wet and stuff when you have to clean these So there's only a little bit left, so I am going to put a row around here on each one, just one single strand. Okay guys, so I'm going to do two rows around one and then probably one row or how many rows I can get. Probably three so I can distinguish between the salt and pepper shaker. Look at how pretty they are, guys. Can't see the sparkle, but trust me, it's there. And it's going to be a great addition to my table. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, I love you guys. Bye-bye.